Somebody sent this to me. So I, I did a quick video that talk about how Kanye West announced his run, but this is on his like actual tweet tweeter. Uh, this is like a video he posted. Um, so I'm curious about this. Let's see. Let's see. I think the thing that Trump was most perturbed about me asking him to be my vice president. I think that was like lower on the <laughs> list of things that caught him off guard. It was the fact that did he actually asked that. <laughs> it's probably because Trump is, was like president. What did he ask about? That I walked in with intelligence. So Trump is really impressed with Nick Fuentes and Nick Fuentes. Is Trump actually really impressed with Nick Fuentes? I would go as far to. S I. Uh, what? Is that true? I. Apparently, Trump met with Nick Fuentes at Mar-a-Lago. Oh, my God, bro. Nick Fuentes is a literal fucking Nazi. Are you kidding me? This guy's bad, bro. This guy pushes the concept that, like, black and Hispanic people are biologically less than. That's why, like, they have, like, lower IQs. They don't give He doesn't give a fuck about systemic racism. Um, he was asked if he, like, bro, he thinks that fucking a dog and fucking a black person is both degenerate. Like, on the, like this is not a good person. Um just because he's like he's he's very small and like uh, he doesn't seem like a very a big threat doesn't mean that he's not a fucking real piece of shit. Um, wow, dude, we're going in a bad direction. Um, that's not good. That's a very bad direction. Okay. Test, unlike so many of the lawyers and so many people that he was left with on his 2020 campaign, he's actually a loyalist. When he didn't know where the lawyers is, you'll still have your lawyer list. And when all the lawyers said, forget it, Trump's done, there are loyalists running up no. in the White House, right? Wait, what? I think the thing that Trump was most perturbed about Oh, it's sneak. Oh. Is that Sneeko? Wow. The world is collapsing. Holy fuck. This, you'll still have your lawyer list. And when all the lawyers said, forget it, Trump's done, there are loyalists running up yep. in the White House, right? And my question would be, why, when you had the chance, did you not free the January Sixers? And I came to him as someone who loves Trump, and I said, go and get Corey back. Go and get these people. Why would you free the January Sixers? They fucking, they literally stormed the Capitol. They did illegal things. What? That the media tried to cancel and told you to step away from. He basically. Yeah, I hate, dude, I am never going to be on board with, with, with the Alex uh, Jones shit. This motherfucker literally pushed a conspiracy theory for so long that people who, uh, whose children were murdered, it was all staged and they got relentlessly harassed. Like, stop pretending like this guy isn't literal. Like, he's a fucking bad person, bro. Like, how do you have kids, Kanye? You stupid ass fuck. Imagine what, like, and I mean this with all respect, and I, I'm not trying to put this in the universe, but imagine one of them was shot to death at school, and then somebody came on the news and said, that never happened, it's fake, and you're an actor. That would be devastating, bro. That's fucked. How the fuck do you support this guy? Basically gives me this would be mob esque kind of story, talking to some kid from the south side of Chicago trying to sound mobby or whatever. He goes into the story about all that he went through to get Alice Johnson out of jail and how he didn't do it for Kim, but he did it for me. But then he goes on to say that Kim is a. <laughs> you could tell her I said that, and I was thinking like, that's the. But he said that she was a terrible human being. Mother of my children. Since we know, and all the Christians in America that love Trump know that Trump is a conservative, we're going to demand that you. He's not a very good conservative with three divorces, bro. Okay. Hold all policies directly to the Bible. When Trump started basically screaming at me at the table, telling me I was going to lose, I mean, has that ever worked for anyone in history? To <laughs> You're going to lose. Tell him he's going to lose. lose. Tell me. I'm like, well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Trump. You're talking to Ye. I truly mean this, that Kanye West needs to lose. He needs to lose. Um... Trump needs to lose too if he's if he did in fact say that fucking Nick Fuentes was a good guy. But holy fuck. 
dude america i i this is this really is i feel more we're a laughing stock to the world bro i feel embarrassed to be an american right now i mean that between Donald Trump and fucking Kanye West talking about like running for presidents, I, I, it's embarrassing. With a fucking literal party city, uh, fucking animatronic as a president right now. I mean, holy fuck! Like, you know what I'm saying, dude? Like, <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> We're fucked. I want Papa Gut to pee on my face, but just as a friend. There's nothing weird about that I want him to pee on my face 